Hi everybody, I'm Louise from Wildflower Bowl and welcome back to my channel. It's a few days after Christmas. I hope everybody has had a great Christmas. It, it is 2020, so we all know Christmas has looked a whole lot different for everybody this year, but fingers crossed that you all got to be in touch with your family one way or the other, virtually, on the phone, maybe a quick outdoor visit, however that looked for you. I am very, very grateful that I got to see my family in one form or the other. Certainly was not the way we normally celebrate Christmas. And I have to say, I'm already hoping, crossing my fingers, that next year we can get back to celebrating the way we normally do. It was certainly strange, but we all made the best of it. So did anybody get any knitting goodies in their stocking? Have any yarn under the tree? I hope that you were able to get some treats, that your family treated you well and gave you some extra yarn for this winter's knitting. Because I have a feeling it's going to be a long winter. And we just need something to get us through to the springtime. I got, I got some goodies. I do have to say I did a little bit of shopping for myself. But I did also get some beautiful things in the mail. The Fiber Friends. Oh, you guys, you, my, my Fiber Friend watchers, you guys are the best. We truly do have an amazing community over there on that group. This year we did our second annual Christmas card exchange and we added in a mini skein in there as well. And I think everybody enjoyed it. I got so many Christmas cards. I just wanted to say a huge thank you. It was such a joy to get these in the mail, even just up until a couple of days before Christmas. They started arriving sometime in November, right up through to Christmas. And it just brought a smile to my face every day, checking the mail and it'd be like, oh, there's another card. So I have had these all around my house and they have been part of my Christmas decor. And I have just loved, you know, walking into a room and seeing them there. It is just so much fun. And this is definitely the most cards that I have gotten. I can remember as a kid, my parents would get tons of Christmas cards. And mom would always, now, oh, this one here. This one was not from a knitting friend. This one here, I stuck in here just to show you. My mom makes homemade cards every year. And that was the one for my, my mom. I, I love them, I cherish them. I have a whole box filled with all of her cards and I can't wait. Every time I, saw, I see a card for my mom in the mail, I'm like, oh, I cannot wait to open it and see what she's done. So, and look, I know. <laughs> that's cute. Oh, beautiful. There's something about Christmas cards that are just, they just spark joy. Absolutely, for sure. This one has sweaters on it. Love Santa Claus. So I hope that if you got Christmas cards that you enjoyed them. And I keep mine. I keep them. I have a special box and I just feel it is filled with Christmas cards because I just can't get rid of them. So I truly do keep them and I truly do enjoy them. And thank you so much for everybody who sent me a Christmas card this year. I did get a couple of little goodies in the mail too. And this game, which I'll show it up right, right side up. So this one is called Candlelight. And it's an 80-20. Look at the color on that. Beautiful. I am trying to think of what I can put this into. And I think, actually, it would go really nice with this one. This is a Leo and Rox. Oh, did I say this was? It's called Bell, Tiny Bell Art. Art Fill is what's on the label on this one. And this is from our friends, my local yarn shop, Leo and Roxy. 
and it's called Moody. But look at those pretty blues. I think the, these would look nice together, wouldn't they? And this one is gorgeous. Look, is this not my color? Oh, I love this. And this is from Bramble Knitting. Nope, Bramble Knits. And she is on Etsy. And what is this? This is an 80-20 and the colorway is Macintosh. I love that. Love that. And this is a special one. I And Karen was so smart how she wound her, she took her skein, unwound it, and Karen, I'm not sure, well, this isn't your card, but anyways, um, she wound it around the Christmas card and sent it through the mail that way, which I thought was a great idea. So I have already wound it into a ball and look at it, look at the color. And what makes this exciting, it's at 7525 and it is dyed with marigolds. Beautiful. So look at that. <gasps> Lovely. Thank you so much, everybody. And what else? And I got some other little goodies too that were dropped off. So this was another little knitting gift. Look at the cute little box made out of a Christmas card. And it has some cute little stitch markers and takes look at that yellow. I love it. And some little handmade tags to put on projects. And some wool wash in a bar. It's a bar of soap that is wool wash. And I, I took it, isn't it wrapped so beautifully? So Violet Creek. Now I am not sure if that is maybe a business name. Maybe she is on Etsy. But it smells so nice. It is a lavender, lemon and lavender. It smells lovely. My socks are going to smell so good. <laughs> and what else? Oh, and I got some stitch markers. Beautiful, beautiful, and a cute little bag. Because we can all use stitch markers. So, so pretty. Oh, here she's taking a closer look at this one. Look at that little sweater on the needles and a heart. And there is one more here. What did I? I haven't taken this one off the Christmas card yet, Rita. And look at the cute little sticker and a Christmas tree. Even though we're past Christmas, I'm still going to take it off. And I think I'm going to use that on my new project that I'm gonna start. So I should say, I don't know if today's video is kind of like an end of Vlogmas or it could be classified as my last New Start Monday. I have different plans for the new year and we'll talk about that in a few minutes. So I do have a new start. I am gonna start a new project today because it is Monday. Oh, and some more yarn to show you. I have got, well, I'll kind of, I'll tell you what I have here. I did, and I know, <laughs> I did stock up with yarn a little bit. And I know you guys are just going to just practically fall off your chair when you hear me say that, right? I know I have lots of yarn. <laughs> but it was knowing that we were going back into lockdown on December 26th. There was some yarn that I wanted for specific projects and I wanted some specific colorways. So I picked up this wool, uh, Lion Brand Wool Ease. I actually got three balls of this. Yes, here's the third one. I wanted something that was going to be a thick yarn that was going to be a quick knit. And this yarn you're going to see in projects coming in January. So what this is, uh, da -da, Jam Cookie. I do not know why that name just makes me smile, but I guess that's, I don't know. Does that look like a jam cookie to you? Ah, 
anyways, these balls are five ounces. So they're a little bigger than your normal 100 gram ball. These, this is a 140 gram ball. It is a number six weight. So it is a super bulky. And um, it's an 80-20. Now, one thing I did notice about Lion Brand Yarns is that they have adjusted. They've changed their yarn a little bit. Now, I'm thinking that this was the old label. I'm not 100% sure because I don't buy a whole lot of um, woolies thick and quick. I did buy some a couple of years to do hats for everybody in my family, but for the life of me, I can't remember what the ball band looked like. I'm pretty sure it looked like this. Kind of think that this is their new ball band. So if anybody knows, leave me a comment down below. But what is interesting is this has less wool in it. This, did I say this was an 80-20? This is an 80-20, 80% acrylic, 20% wool. This one, is only 10% wool, which I find a little interesting because that um, if this is the new ball band, it looks like kind of their rebranding and it has a little tagline on the edge of the ball band that says the warmth of wool blended with the ease of acrylic, which is absolutely true, but, but they've cut their wool content by half. This only has 10% wool and so it's 82% acrylic, 10% wool, and 8% rayon. Interesting. And this ball is a little bit larger. There's 170 grams. It's a six ounce ball. Oh, and if we're talking yardage wise, where is it on here? So the smaller ball has got 87 yards or 80 meters, and the large is 106 yards, 97 meters. So there you go. So just a little tip, if you're buying, you know, if you're, well, <laughs> I guess nobody really, well, depending on where you're living, maybe some people are able to run into their local yarn shop, but we can't right now. I was just gonna say, you know, if you're running in quick and you think, oh, I know I need one ball or two balls or whatever you need for a project, just be aware the size difference is different. Uh, on these two balls and the content of the fiber has changed too which is interesting so I don't know if it's going to make that much of a difference maybe for sensitive to wool this is going to have a little less hopefully 10 per I don't I don't know what does does 10 percent wool give you enough of that benefit of wool to be warmer I don't know I guess we'll just find out as we use it won't we so this I think this was called oatmeal Yes, it is oatmeal, and I like it with the little flex in there. This, again, this is when the yarn talks to me. This is telling me it wants to be a cowl. And it's maybe mints too. <laughs> I have three balls of it, so I'm hoping I can do some sets. Because remember I said lots of times before, right, none of my stuff matches. I have a pair of mitts in one color. I have a hat in something else. I have a cowl in something else again. And I get dressed to go out of the house and I am like this mismatched. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's all beautiful hand knit things, but none of it ever matches. So that is something that I'm going to try to rectify this year. So hence, that is why I bought three balls. And I only have two balls of this, but because there is extra yardage in here, we should add up to somewhere around the same. I didn't actually do the math. I just kind of guessed. Which may come back to haunt me. Maybe I should have got three balls. I don't know. Anyways, I just have two of those. But it's just going to be, yeah, hat, smits, cowl. Each one of those projects doesn't take a whole lot of yarn. I also grabbed some Patton Shetland Chunky. So this is only a five, number five weight yarn. It is a bulky. That stuff was a super bulky. So this is smaller, smaller diameter yarn, needs a smaller diameter needle. I have two, can't remember if I bought two or three balls of this. This has more wool content in it. So if you're somebody who's looking for a little more wool, 
this is what you may want to get as opposed to the line brand. But it's also a different weight of yarn, so remember you can't interchange them without doing a little math on your on your pattern. So this is 75% acrylic, 25% wool. I like this. I've used this a lot for a lot of different projects, and I do like this. I was just thinking, can you, and I think they say you can still hand wash this. I know the Lion brand, they said this is hand washable because there is only 10% wool in it. And I'm pretty sure the ball band on here is saying machine wash. I think that's what the, maybe I should brush up on my labels. I think that means machine washable, right? It doesn't have a hand. It does not look like it's saying hand wash. Anyways, most of the time I hand wash my stuff anyways. Ooh, there's some more exciting stuff down in here. Maybe I better lift the bag instead of lifting. So I've got a Santa bag here that has my yarn in it. And these are two balls that were a gift for me. Isn't this gorgeous? The Estelle Suds dishcloth cotton in a pretty, okay. I need to get rid of the bag. I'll set it here. Isn't that pretty? I didn't even look to see what colorway it is. Um, orange sorbet. Look at that. Pretty, pretty, pretty. It's a little deeper orange than it's looking maybe on the screen, but how pretty. And this is going to be the yarn that I am casting on for this week's project. A new dishcloth. I'm going to end up the year with a dishcloth cast on. What else? So this yarn, look at this. I love this yarn. In my search for some of this super bulky yarn, I took a trip down to Little Red Mitten before our lockdown started again. And I couldn't find exactly what I was looking for. There wasn't anything bulky enough in the colors that I wanted. So I'm sure their shelves have, you know, everybody's been shopping mostly because, you know, it's Christmas, buying little presents for ourselves, buying gifts for other people, and just knowing that lockdown was coming I'm sure people were stocking up. So I couldn't find the super bulky that I wanted at Little Red Mitten because I was hoping to get it there. But in the end, I had I just made a trip to Michael's and their shelves were really, really picked over too. But I did manage to scrounge up something that I think will work for my projects. But while I was at Little Red Mitten, even though this is, you know, even though this was not the yarn that I was looking for, I found this color and could not leave it there. So my first instinct was to buy one ball thinking, oh, I can make a pair of mitts. And I went back and I quickly caught myself and I'm like, no, that's not your plan for this year, Louise. And I picked up two balls. So let's take a peek. West Yorkshire Spinners, the Croft Shetland Tweed, 100% Shetland Island wool. Oh, this is beyond words lovely. Now, it feels soft. I know some people may find this picky, but honestly, I don't at all. Maybe it'll be different when it's knit up, but right now it feels really, really soft. Um, what do we have here? It's 182 yards, 166 meters. They're saying a five millimeter needle. Um, yeah, that's the colorway. Um, is maybe Hillswick? Hillswick Run? Hillswick? No. That's just, oh, Hillswick. And then I think it has a run number, which must mean like a lot number. I'm thinking. So this is going to, I'm going to have more hats, mitts, and cowls than, than uh, I probably need, but oh, I just, I like the color. So that came home with me. And this yarn I've had for quite a while. I bought this quite a while ago. 
and I just saved it for Christmas to put into my stocking. We talked about this on the Fiber Friends podcast because Cheryl had the different colorway. What do I have? I have, this is the 50s. 50s stripes? Yes. And she bought the 70s. So I may cast these on right shortly too because I know she's cast hers on already. So there's no way I'm going to be able to beat her because she's already started. And she does hers two at a time. So that means, yeah, I'm way behind. <laughs> but that's okay. But 50 stripe. I love the color of this. Yeah, 50s. I have a hard time remembering which one's 50s and which one's 70s. Cheryl, I think hers maybe had a little more orange in it. But I liked the yellow. The yellow and the blue, I really liked together. So those are going to be socks. And while I was there, more yarn literally spoke to me off the shelf and I had to get it. I had, to, I had, I had to get it. Well, it felt like I had to get it at the time and I'm really happy that I got it. And it is just this neutral. And I picked up four balls because I have to think Croy is only 50 gram balls. So I always think two balls is really one ball of sock yarn. One, you know, hundred because most sock yarn now is in, in 100 gram balls, right? So this is a 100 gram ball, this is a 100 gram ball. So four, four, four balls of Croy equals a two skein shawl. And that's what I have planned for this. And this is called Seashell Colors. So I don't know, it, I mean, it looks pretty neutral to me. I don't know if there's like some shades of gray or beige or cream in there. We'll see how it knits up. What I had thought of doing was doing this shawl and then adding in some stripes with the minis. So that is kind of what I'm thinking about. But I haven't totally decided what I'm going to do. I'm just having fun thinking of all the possibilities right now. And that is all that is all my yarn. It seems like a little bit. Maybe I went a little overboard buying, did I? But I can never have too much yarn. Oh, I know what I did not show you. I forgot. Just as I was, as I was saying that, I thought about the saying that is on this magnet. This was tucked in one of my Christmas cards. And I love it. So any day spent knitting is a good day. Totally words to live by. And which, which also was, had me thinking about the same saying about how you can never have too much yarn. <laughs> well, maybe you can, I don't know. I think I may be getting to that point. So, oh, on that note, I know I've been saying this for a long time, but the last yarn organizing video is going to be up on the channel in a few days, getting toward, towards the end of the year. Figured that that would be a good way to end the year by having this room organized and, um, and ready to go for the new year. So that is my plan. And there's also, okay, so I talked about New Start Mondays. So all of this year, if you've been watching all of this year, I have done a new video every Monday. I have filmed a video and it has been New Starts. Most of the new starts have been using yarn from my stash and I always did a dishcloth and I did another project. So I'm going to switch that up a little bit starting next week in January. There is still going to be weekly videos. There is still going to be some new, there is new starts every week and, but the videos are going to just take a little bit of different format and I will talk more about that later on in the week forget exactly which day I've scheduled it in but I am um, I'm hoping that I will be back and we can do I'm hoping I am going to come back I know um daily videos I have found are not my thing I just don't have enough enough time to do daily videos so I'm not going to say I'm I'm already thinking about Vlogmas next year is not going to be daily videos. I'm going to say that right from the start. I did enjoy doing it and I did like kind of just having some Christmas things incorporated into my knitting for December, but I'm not going to say right now, they're not going to be daily. <laughs> May, anyways, we're not, we won't talk about that. We'll, 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 I'll revisit that next November. 
but um this week i'm hoping to have some extra videos up for you the storage videos so you can see my sock yarn wall and there is a little peek into the basement my yarn stash down in the basement and then saturday there will be a new video up starting the new weekly videos for january for 2021 i and in there, I will also talk about, we'll go over, find my stack of dishcloths. I'm going to gather them all up and I will show you what, how big the stack is. We will do the official count of how many I have finished this year. And we'll take a look into the ball band box and I will add up how many meters of yarn that I've knit. That's the plan. We'll kind of do a year end wrap up and then start fresh for 2021 and I am so excited about this. I think you guys, well, I hope you guys are gonna be as excited as I am. So for now, everybody, I love I love this week. This week between Christmas and New Year's just seems very relaxed, kind of everything's winding down and just kind of thinking about new possibilities for the year ahead. So I hope you guys are enjoying this week and maybe, you know, I, don't, I have no idea what New Year's Eve festivities are going to look like. It's probably going to look like every other night for me. It's going to be a movie on Netflix and it's going to be knitting with some treats in my living room. So I will see you in a couple of days. Everybody have a fantastic day. I hope you're filling your days with a little bit of knitting and I will see you soon. Bye.